Right, my stream should be starting now all being well, so hello everybody. You should be able to see from the side there, it takes that few seconds to refresh just so I know it's all working. It seems to be. Um, this time I'm on chess.com. Hikaru is hosting another viewer arena, so I'm just going to play a night. You can see I've missed the first six minutes or so, but it's a two hour arena. And I'm just here to take part. I'm not here to win it, just to take part. So I'm just going to play this and play some games, see how we get on. So 2079, good luck. I just need to boost my sound up a little. Alright, let's concentrate. Okay, let's just take. Oops. Mm, actually, let's play up. He goes with a knight, so I'm going to pin it. He can pin my knight, of course, he does. Hmm. My gut feeling is that I should hit the bishop immediately there. Then he goes back to, I think I'll just castle. I guess pawn up makes sense, just try and gain some centre ground. Don't know if it's good or not good, but feels logical. Maybe trade the bishops. And then rook across, just simple development moves, nothing fancy. Okay, trade the bishops or trade bishop knight. I'll just trade and push, I think, there. Now rook across and then maybe bishop up somewhere. He plays knight up. I don't see why I shouldn't just push again. So he's targeting the pawn. Knight up, maybe you can kick the knight. Oh, take, take, take. Yeah, it's, is it showing signs of being laggy already? Let's play king up just as a part of the pawn. I've noticed a couple of glitches already though, there might be server issues. If you ever see these clocks blink, it means there's a brief disconnection from the server. Um, what to do, what to do? Let's play bishop up and hit the queen. My pawns are just looking a little bit weak now. What? Oh, I wonder if my opponent's had an issue as well. He might have had to go away from the computer. My opponent's just resigned. 1776, good luck. He might have had to pop away from the computer for a little bit, you never know. Okay, just knight up, keep it simple and straightforward. Uh, I think I'll take the... Now I've got a slight choice. I'm going to make sure my bishop has got a potential square back, but he might play up and we'll just trade. Or I could play knight up first and then trade. Just a normal standard Karakhan opening. He just develops his knight. So I'll just play knight up I think and then maybe drop the bishop back. He goes across so that's obviously a target. Very logical. Mm. What do I want to do? Ah, oh, there, the clock's blinking again. It's very disconcerting when it does that. Server issues, because there shouldn't be anything wrong with my internet connection. Now, I could push up there, force him to do something. Again, it looks a little bit bad because moves like this can come. It might be ultimately weakening, but I'm going to play it. Oops. And I've really blundered, haven't I? Really blundered, not paying attention. So I have to go here and give him the pawn. Not concentrating, not paying attention. So I'm in a lot of trouble this game now. I might have to just drop the knight straight back here. Oops. Well, I really am seriously, seriously not with it, am I? Seriously not with it here. Okay, so this game is already lost, but not to worry, these things happen, everybody blunders. Let's just take and take. 
yeah, just not focus, not paying attention this game. So my opponent should get a very good win. He just has to hold his nerve, find a few decent moves, and that's an automatic win for him, or it should be. Now I could take, take, take. If he takes with the queen, I get bishop up as well, but I don't think I actually get anywhere. Yeah, the clock's blinking again. It's really seriously disconcerting when it does that. It really is. If my stream is still running all the time, and it seems to be, then it's not an issue with my internet. It's their servers that's the problem. But it's been happening quite regularly recently. Yeah, he's just doing simple, straightforward, sensible moves. Exactly what I would recommend you do. And that's just a nice, very good win for him. Or it should be. There, there it goes again. It's really, really disconcerting, this. Because it's arena, I really should just resign and get on with the next game. So I will do shortly. Let's just... Let me find a couple of moves. He pushes pawn up. Queen check doesn't do much. I can plant the bishop to hit the pawn. But I don't realistically see much of a way to get through there. He hits the pawn. Hold on, can I push up here? I don't think he can afford to take because of check. Oh no, actually he can. He can sack the bishop back, so I think he can actually afford to take. I think he's a bit lucky. That's why he's headed off anyway. So take. Let's play queen up and just hit the pawn, but I'm just kind of going through the motions here, aren't I? Okay, let's hit the bishop. I'm not sure if I can actually get the rook around. I don't think it really creates anything. Rook across here looks interesting, threatening potentially to take at some point. If I can get the rook here, I would be. So he's played across. So rook across, pawn takes. Even that's no good, is it? So, But if I take, he's got a check. I go back. Hmm, no good, no good, no good. Let's play rook up and maybe take this way. See, I'm just trying to find some moves that make him play on a little bit longer. It's just hopeless, really, I know that, but... Um, let's hit the queen. I can play up here, I thought. Yeah, no, that's just lost, isn't it? Let's just give him that one. I just played a dreadful game there. Dreadful game, not paying attention. 1896, good luck. I mean, there's nothing suspicious about it. I just played a very, very dreadful game. Well, let's just go develop the knight. Okay, he hits the bishop. So I'll look to just trade off this defending bishop. Just to aim for a weakness around the king in the long term. And tomorrow night, Arena Kings is back, so all being well, I'll be playing that, but that's not until 8pm UK time. I very rarely play chess at that time of day, even this time of day. It's only for, excuse me, one-off events like this. I'm very much a morning person, not a night person but hopefully i'll be playing that tomorrow all being well that's the plan anyway there there the clocks go again it is so off putting okay so up and he's got this move knight up defends i don't want to trap my queen though let's just play a calm pawn of knight up i'd rather develop like this and i'm probably going to have to drop the queen back Yeah, as long as my internet's still running fine, then it's definitely not an issue with my internet. My router is just in the corner of the room there, and it has two green lights on. There it goes again. They're not changing at all, so I'm pretty sure there's nothing wrong with my internet. Um, let's just push up there and take. There it goes again. Hmm. 
Yeah. Okay, he pushes up. I'm just going to develop up. He'll probably take. I could ignore it in castle. All I'm trying to do is castle and then worry about what to do. And of course, try not to get my queen trapped. He plays bishop up. So pawn up is a threat to fork two pieces. No, let's just castle on. But pawn up is a threat. I'll pre-move in case he takes a knight. I don't think he will. Oh, he might be going queen side. Okay, now I think it's the time to take then and develop the knight with tempo on the queen. Now, do I go all in and try and charge forward? I've got knight up, knight takes, pawn takes, if he castles. Rook across looks playable, but I'm not sure it's brilliant. Yeah, I'm going to push the pawn here and try and give the queen a path back. Then maybe push again. My other option I'm looking at is this and forcing a trade. If he castles, maybe rook across, but I think he can just drop his queen back. I don't think it's a drastic issue for him. Pawn up. Let's just push then. Right, if he takes here, I can take the knight first because I hit the queen. So I'll take the knight first, but I mustn't pre-move anything here, of course. There the clocks go again. Mm. He does take, so I'm going to take the knight to hit the queen, then aim to take back here. I mean, I'm threatening to potentially grab a pawn. He comes forward, that's a free queen. He might have tried that deliberately because he's down on time, hoping I didn't see it. It could be just a straight blunder, everybody blunders. 1719, good luck. So everybody blunders in chess, it's just a case of when and who against and how much it costs you. Right, so we played this in the game two games ago. And this is the game I played absolutely dreadfully in this opening. Let's play up and up. So he's really attacking me here. Let's take, and it depends what he takes back with. Queen up, maybe a check. Um, actually, let's go check and queen up. Mm. I'm just going to develop, I think, here. Trouble is, if I develop, he hits, I really I have to trade. No, I'm just going to take the knight first. I'll play an endgame if he goes with a queen. He goes with a pawn. Let's just play a knight up again. Trade off if we need to. I'm just trying to castle. Nothing else. It's so disconcerting. When you see them, the time blink every single game. It's really off-putting. Okay, now do I need to push here? Push, push and push. Looks pretty good, because he's not got a light squared bishop. I'm going to play that, I think. If he pushes, I get a very nice square here. This first, and then the knight up. Of course, he is going to play this at some point. He plays it immediately. Very logical. I'm just going to castle. If he takes, I'll take back. What with the... I'll take with a queen. He hits my pawn. So, if I take the pawn, my queen is probably getting trapped. Take, take. Actually, I think I can take because I'm threatening to grab a pawn should he go across. If he takes here, I'm threatening to take either way. Well, again, he's playing very well and he's up on the clock. But you can see I'm a naturally slow player. I'm not a naturally quick player. Well, he does take, so he's given me the pawn. What to go with? Hmm. I'm going to go with the queen and just keep it simple. Just trade the queens off. Then my knight's got a couple of squares now that I can jump to. I'm not going to be able to keep that pawn, so I won't worry about that. Can I find a way to trick him, though? Knight up, rook across. 
Oh, well done, yeah. Knight up. If he takes, I've got knight across, forking the two rooks. Otherwise, maybe you move like rook across to pressure the pawn. But I can just hit the two rooks here. And I've got an outside pawn he's got to deal with. Of course, he's going to play this at some point again. But I think I'm okay to take here to simplify. Or am I? Take, take. He pushes, take. I'm an exchange up. It must be right to push. Just run the pawn before he can queen. Now, rook up is obviously a strong threat here. Excellent. Very good. But again, he played a very good game. Well done. By 18.15. Good luck. Go c4. Traditional reti. Let's take. Ooh, he goes for a gambit line. Very aggressive. And he's playing it really quickly as well. So that tells me he might play this regularly or he might be underrated he might be a stronger player than his rating just the speed he's rattling these moves off all right he's allowing me to take the knight so i'm definitely taking that right so sensible solid now how do i do it if i go up here and he takes take eventually he might get a rook across uh, actually let's develop the knight just so i don't blunder something like this at some point now I'm going to go over, hit the bishop, pawn and pawn, rook across. He allows me to take or to check. I can check and grab a pawn. I'm just going to do that. Just keep it simple. And hope I don't trap my knight, of course. I might well get my knight trapped here. Whoa, he's pushing forward again. Wow. Okay. What to do about it? I'm going to go here with an idea knight up and a checkmate threat. If he takes, I'll probably take back though first. He plays knight across. So knight up threatens checkmate, stops him pushing his pawn. Bishop up, I take, he's got knight back. I think I can play knight across here, hit the knight. Players up, so again I can check, I can take, I've got knight back. I think check feels right, but what happens if he dares come forward? Check up, takes, takes, up, knight takes, takes. I think I've got bishop up. Oh god, the clock. No, no, no. I'm just going to take. I'm not going to simplify. I've given him nearly a minute. Hmm. Let's hit the bishop. I've given him nearly a full minute here. Oh my goodness, I've gone way too slow. Ridiculously slow. Uh, yeah, let's hit the pawn. I probably need d3 because he might have this at some point. You can see what I mean, I'm a naturally slow player though, so he plays up, knight across, bishop up is good for him. Let's just push and take. Okay, I'm going to hit the bishop and hit the rook there. Again, it's very dangerous because I'm conceding the diagonal. Conceding a diagonal, but if the bishop wanders on the wrong diagonal, there's a check threat. Um... I've just got a take, I think. Let's play up and hit the rook. I think I might have to take this side, even though it looks horrendous. It looks seriously bad. I don't think I can actually. No, I've got to take this way. He takes, so I can gain a rook. He takes, I go behind. He takes, I take. I think I can take the rook. So take and step across. I'm threatening rook across, which threatens a check to win the queen. But if he takes the bishop, I can sidestep the king here. He goes for the pin, but now I can push. 
Oh, he's got clean check, but I can step over. I think I'm all right. I might be wrong, but I think I'm all right. I'm still well down on the clock, though. Oh, there's the ruddy clocks going again. Mm, very, very disconcerting. He goes back. Now, let's push the pawn so his rook can't come in easily now. A check, I just sidestep, or I could even sidestep in the corner. Okay, I've got check. If I get the queen off, then obviously that's good enough as well. Um, yeah, check and check. Rook across. There's still the clock to consider, but I should be fine. It's possible to back rank mate me here, though. Let's hit the bishop. Goes back. Excellent, very good. So what's happening at the top? Where's Hikaru? Oh, someone's held Hikaru up as well. But there is a... I, th I thought I saw a 2900 playing somewhere. You, oh, 2189, good luck. Now my peak high best ever rating on here is 2160-ish. So this is a stronger player than me. So it's always difficult, but it's always good fun to test yourself against stronger players. But the games are always difficult, though, of course. You don't get easy games against stronger players. Let's just check and trade a knight. Mustn't pre-move capturing, of course, but if he goes with a queen, I'd take. He doesn't. <coughs> Let's just develop the knight. Okay, he pushes up. So just take. A queen across, I guess, is a move. A knight across looks sensible. He breaks the pin. Knight across is still playable. Knight in, queen back. A little bit dicey. I think it's still playable. There, the clocks go again. How many times has it done that? Okay, let's just drop back. I don't think he'll take the bishop, but he might do. He might want the bishop against the knight. Okay, he plays across. I guess I need to play over, try and force something, and then maybe I can develop. But it does concede this then, if I do that. So he's probably going to have to push. Now, can I stop it? Let's play Rook up and attempt to double up, because he, he's going to play this sooner or later. Okay, I've doubled the Rooks up, so I've done as much as I can there. Now, I really want to play this, but I'm not sure it's playable, so I'll just go here. Same here as well. So he plays queen up. Okay, let's off with a queen trade. Oh, he pushes that. I didn't expect. Let's just drop back then. So take, take, take. I'm just going to play a holding move. Again, I've given him too much time on the clock, just like my previous opponent. But this opponent's obviously too strong to do that with. There, the clock's going again. It's disconnecting from the server all the time. I say there's nothing wrong with my internet. As long as my stream is still running, my internet's fine. It's very, very disconcerting when it does this. He plays king up, so I could actually take, take, take. I could even take with a queen. Take back two pawns a knight. It just feels wrong. There it goes again. Mm. So pawn up, I guess he's going to push. And I need a square for the knight. Right back. I'm going to force it, though. I'll just drop the knight back. And try and just swing it round. 
Hope I haven't trapped my queen, which I might well have done. I have to play f5. So I have to play knight across. Okay, no, I've definitely blundered. Um, let's push the pawn and drop back. It's the only move. Okay, queen back, he pushes. I have to drop back, I think, there. Then pawn up, maybe. So I'm not going to be able to keep this pawn. I won't even try to. Just play a queen across. Okay, queen across, hit the pawn. Right, I'm just going to have to risk it now. I'm getting low on time. I'm playing a stronger player. I've got to take chances. And of course, I just blunder it immediately. Okay, let's give him the exchange. Why didn't I just put the, um, yeah, he's just completely outplayed me, hasn't he? Nothing I can do there, and the clock's blinking again. I'm down on time, just get on with the next one. It's so off-putting when it happens. I wonder if it's happening to other players in the tournament. I won't know unless um, I watch it back on Ikaru's channel or something, if he uploads it. 2139, good luck. take this game rather than e4 immediately he plays down let's just drop back I don't want to go with a bishop and I'm not sure it's worth doing I will take though goes with a knight so I'll drop back again actually no I will go with the bishop it might be bad but I'm gonna play it so I guess I've got to go here he doesn't play f4 Let's just play a queen up, but I'm completely bogged down now. So I'm going to have to get the rook out the other side. Okay, so he's looking to come down here. And there's probably not a lot I can do about it. I have to give the king a square. But I don't have to actually take there. But I don't know if there's any merit to not taking. I think I can push. If he takes, I have to take. If he checks, I take. Rook takes. King up. Looks alright. <coughs> yeah, queen in. That's a good move. So I've got to take. But now I'm again bogged down. Very difficult to find a way out. Bishop up is pretty much an only move here, I think. But then this pawn is weak. Let's play a king up. He won't take here, I think he'll play rook. Boy, he does take. Okay. But yeah, what on earth do I do? There it goes again. It is horrendously bad. Okay, king across, at least guard the pawn so I can get the bishop hopefully into play somewhere here. Probably very bad though. I should be just playing lost here. Play a bishop up. Let's play a bishop down. Okay, let's push the pawn onto a dark square. He goes back. Oh, very nice, very nice. I think I have to take. I have to play up, but 
How do I stop this? I don't think it's possible. But it's just the fun of taking part. Some days these games go wrong. Not a lot you can do. You just do your best. Yeah, I can't stop that. Not playing well, am I? Not playing well again tonight, but not to worry. Right, 17.48, good luck. Okay, I'll just play up there and pre-move. He doesn't take, so again, pre-move. Drop back and pre-move. Just castle and pre-move. Plays up, so I'm going to hit the bishop. And I'll probably just drop the knight straight back. Has he given me a chance to win a... I think I'll win a pawn here, right? I think I can take and discover on the bishop because I'm hitting the queen. If he pushes, I can take back. Or I could just retreat this way or trade with the other knight. Um, yeah, I think I like the idea of just simply taking there. Give the knight an option to jump across, an option to play f4 or f3 for that matter. Pawn up and pawn up. <coughs> now it's probably a good idea to go with a pawn if he takes, but I could go with the knight because I get tempo on the queen. Then I can jump the knight in. I'm going to take... Now rook across... And you target the pawn because there's a potential pin on the queen. But knight across, knight across makes some logical sense, I think. So let's play a knight up and put it here. Unless he goes here, of course, then I'll hit the knight. He does go there, so I'll hit the rook. And now this is where I was looking at maybe a move like f3. Oops, and I've just blundered again, have I? Hmm... It could be worse, it could be worse. Let's play queen up and take back. That's what I meant though, I'm really not sharp again today, am I? Not been playing too well recently. So knight back looks forced here. King up he comes in, so knight back is forced, but now at least I've got a threat. Knight check, I can just step up and cover, I think. And I've lost the pawn back that I gained, but I was a pawn up, so this is playable. So let's take with a pawn, bring it in towards the middle, try and push up. So I've got check, up, check. Um, I think it's a little bit early to be agreeing a draw. Or is it? Is it, is it, is it? Oh, I'm going to play on a little bit. It's a little bit early to agree a draw. It might well be a, a draw a fair result. Let's hit the pawn. Right, I'm going to push. Okay, so again, check up. Let's just calmly drop back, threaten a check to hit the pawn. Keep these hopefully protected, but Well, let's push another pawn. Again, he's playing very well. He might well win the game. Never mind, draw it. He's played really well. But I do have a pawn here. I do have a pawn. Let's put the queen in the middle and try and create the further past pawn. Again, I could push and try and double his pawns on the side. So now I've got check or check here. Yeah, I think he's blundered a pawn, because I can take this next move, I think. Now trading is definitely right. I can just grab another pawn, but trading has to be winning, right? It just has to be winning. 
I can definitely support my pawn. He can't let me get round it. Oh, maybe I'm just lost. Oh my goodness, I'm actually lost. I'm actually lost. I'm not... This is what I meant. This is what I said. He just has to play on. If he takes here, though, then I can actually draw it. So it's just a draw. He got the draw. So well done. Oh, is he going to be silly and try and play on now? Yeah, he would have lost the game if he'd have tried to be silly. I could have eventually won that, I think. 20-38, good luck. Don't want to agree draws generally when you've still got barrel loads of time left on the clock, though. Okay, let's just take there and um, calmly drop back. Okay, let's hit the knight and take. Let's play bishop up and hit the pawn. Okay, let's just castle rook across. Is he going queen side? He is. My gut feeling is to move the queen. I think I'm just going to go here to guard this pawn. Now what do I want to do with a bishop? I'm going to drop back and guard the knight so I can maybe move this at some point. Let's play up so I can maybe go forward as well. Just to annoy the queen a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to try and pressure this pawn. And I might try and sack here at some point to open it up, but it could be a very bad idea. Very bad. Bishop up. Now I can push. No, it just feels like I should trade there actually and then push. If he takes, I'll go with the knight and then I can put the bishop here. Threatening this, but the bishop can come here maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so I can grab a pawn, he gets rook across and he targets the outside. Take the other rook across. But then there's a knight check. Oh, there's a ruddy clock going again. Can I push? I doubt it. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to take and take and just... Oops, I can't take that one. If he gets a rook here, the bishop is actually on the diagonal. So that's not an option. So I have to just calmly drop back there rather than taking that. So I need pawn up, but yeah, if he gets a rook there with an open file, that would be very much a poison pawn. So again, knight here is still an idea. Now I can take, I think, actually. He gets this file, but he doesn't get it in one move. Knight down can't be moved, it hangs checkmate, so pawn up. And then I hope I can play a bishop up in time to cut this diagonal. Otherwise I'm in deep, deep doo-doo. Mm. Knight check is no good. Let's just go here. He plays queen up. Okay, let's try and challenge that. Bishop. Okay, so he's threatening to win a pawn and I can't actually stop it, I don't think. Oh, there it ruddy goes again. What is going on? Oh, I've gone in the wrong square. He can actually um, just take the pawn and I can't even take the bishop back. Why the hell did I do that? Why on earth did I do that? I can't even take the bishop back. Okay, I've got to try and run here. If he takes the bishop, I can take back. Either way, so I'll pre-move that. But yeah, this is just a loss as well now. If I take the bishop, he takes the queen, I take the rook. Now, I've got to run, don't I? I've just got to run. Okay, so I've really got to go... The knight, I could go with the pawn actually. Check up. Knight check. Let's go with the pawn and up. B 
but yeah, I need a miracle this game as well, don't I? He played a really good game, really well done. He offers a night trade. Let's play Rook up first. Although, can he get away with just taking the knight anyhow? Take, 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 he can. I have to take, right, and king up. Queen check, king up, the queen guards the rook. Okay, gain one, lose one. But I get a check at the end, I win his rook back. Back guard everything. Right, that should be good enough. Excellent, very good, very good. A little bit lucky there, wasn't it? Didn't he play a terrific game? Oh, don't know, them scores not refreshing either. Oh, there they have now. An 800 on 10 out of 11. Hmm, hopefully it's all legit. 2275, good goal. We've played a number of times. I can't remember the score, but I know I'm losing. But again, it's a stronger play. I have beaten this player before, but I'm losing overall. I'm pretty sure of that. I think we've played five or six times, I don't remember precisely. Getting a regular participant in these events, just like me. So up, knight takes, takes, takes. There is no queen check. Um, I think I just play a bishop up here if I remember. Let's just play up. Okay, he offers the trade. Again, there it already goes blinking again. Let's just take and go pawn up, I think. Just release the bishop somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Right, I'm gonna just gradually push and try and chase his bishop. Okay, let's go in and hit the bishop this way. Goes back, so now hit the bishop this way. Goes back. Okay, let's just trade and possibly trade again. He hits the knight. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Oh, if I go there, he's got bishop down, that's no good. Well, let's take. Yeah, no, 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 no. I can go here, I think. I want to try and put a pawn in the middle, but I'm not sure how. Actually, maybe I don't. Let's play up so there's no indirect pin on the pawn now. Okay, he offers a draw. It's a very solid game from both of us. It's a good result. Well done. 1468, good luck. Well, he plays a really sharp line. A 1400 playing a really sharp line always makes you very wary, extremely wary. Have to castle here practically whatever he does. Okay, he pushes up, so I think really I have to break that pin, see if he takes the knight or not, he doesn't. Now that gives me a chance to form a barricade. Now how do I do it? I think I go this way and just take if he takes with either piece. Mm, pretty sharp stuff for a 1400 to play. Okay, let's me take, pawn takes. 
I don't see why not. So I'm going to try and put the bishop here and force this bishop off the board now. Again, I'm aware his knight's coming in, but I'm just trying to get rid of this bishop. Just minimise the potential attacking power he's got. Okay, let's try and weaken this structure before he blasts through. He might well do. I'm going to take. Let's play across and hit the pawn. <coughs> if he pushes, obviously I have to drop back. Now hit the knight. Okay, he supports the knight. Logical. Do I take? I doubt it. Pawn up if he moves. Pawn up. He's got a knight check as well. Very unpleasant, isn't it? Very unpleasant. Oh, I've blundered the ruddy knight now. What the hell have I done? All along? I'm still hitting his knight. I just didn't even see it though. Knight check I have to take. Bishop in I can't take, I don't think. Wow, how's he done this? How on earth has he done this? I think I have to play f5 there. I think it's pretty forced. Knight check and my queen is protected. I've seen the threat. Takes with a pawn. I'm hoping I can form a barricade. Trouble is what with? The rook or the king? I think it has to be the king. Although he's got... He just puts it here, doesn't he? It has to be the rook. He just puts the knight here. I'm just playing lost. If I can trade the queen, who knows? Not trading the queen, it's a definite loss. Let's play in and just try and pressure everything here. How the hell has he done this for a 1400 to play this well? Take, knight, takes. He's hitting the knight for certain now. Let's drop the knight back. He's played astonishingly well, like seriously, seriously good here. Knight up and I'm going to try and attack this, but he's got three pieces defending it. I've only got two attacking, so even one more is not enough. Oh, there the clocks go again as well. Now if I take, he's hitting the rook and the um, knight. If I go back, he's got knight in, he wins an exchange. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How's he done this? I'm just going to have to give him the exchange knight in. How he's seen all this, I really do not know. It's unreal. I have to take with the um, king here. But yeah, I'm just completely lost. How a 1400 plays this well is beyond me. But he has done. Let's play up and hit the pawn. Unreal. How is he finding all these moves? Okay, let's drop back. Oh, I can trade the queen, should I? I'm going to trade the queen and rook across. I don't want to trade the bishop and let him plant this. I have to try and take. Let's push. I have to try and take. I've got to risk it. I have to take. Let's try and grab another one. Let's take and take. How the hell he's done this so? Knight across is a potential check threat here. Now let's go back. Hmm. Again, amazing, amazing. Let's play across and back. Truly spectacular what he's done here, it really is. He's blundered. I'm 
hopefully he's not going to check me out here now. He's let me out now. I should be all right now. Unbelievable. How the hell does a 1400 player like that? Unbelievable. Seriously good game for a 1400. That really, really well done. 1697, good luck. Okay, let's play another Karakan. Let's take... Now you can play 6 e. you can maybe play g6, he pushes, so I'm going to develop the knight. Just hit the bishop, not really threatening to take it, he hits my pawn. And again, a terrific move. I'm just going to offer a queen trade, I'm playing relatively poorly, so I'm going to play for an end game. Mm, let's take the knight. Actually, let's go g6 because he's got the open file and try and go here. I don't mind taking the queen um, with the pawn here, by the way, but I'm going to gain a tempo on his bishop. And that was an absolute disaster. Why did I do that? Although, can I grab a pawn? I'm going to castle enough to grab the pawn. Okay. I can check our trade, trade pawn up. It's actually a mating net, this saw. It's a it's actually a mating net. Rook takes, pawn takes, bishop takes is checkmate. Okay, how the hell is everybody playing like this? Let's drop bishop back, just give him the pawn. How are these players finding these lines? Wow. Unreal. Now he has to take. I guess I have to play across and hit the rook. And then knight across. I'll oh, hit the rook, hit the pawn. Okay, and hit the rook and hit the pawn. Just trying to get tempo. So now I think I check before I take. But unbelievable the quality these players are coming up with. The moves they're all finding. Astonishing. Okay, he offers to trade a rook. Actually. I'm just going to calmly put it on a dark square and try and push a pawn here to keep this guarded. I want to play knight over. Hit the bishop and hit the pawn with um, the same move. Check my king can step up so I'm not overly worried there. I can go here. Oh, should I be worried? I think I should actually. He hits the pawn but I can take or I can... Actually I can take and pin his... Um, Pin his bishop so he can't step out of the way. Now I hit the rook. Okay, so I might as well take. Um, just check. I'm just going for the back rank there. Again, another one playing terrifically well. 2484, good luck. This is a completely different league at my level. I've only ever won a handful of games against players at this level, and that's in three years of playing online. Now, I know b4 is the technically correct move here, but you can play e3 early. He goes f6, ultra solid. It's very common to sack the b pawn in these lines. I'm just going to get castled. Very, very common just to sack the pawn. He can take it. There is a queen check, but he's got the knight block, so just get castled. Right, now I want to try and push the pawn if I can. And now eventually get my knight up. Maybe bring the other knight back. Yeah, let's just trade the bishop. Okay. I can play up there, I can ignore it. I think I'll drop the knight back and guard this. Maybe even f3 at some point. Rook across. Let's just drop back. Now I've got to not forget that my knight is unguarded here. It's not protected, so a queen up hits the knight and it's threatening to actually win it. 
knight forward mm, let's just see what he does so I need to reroute the knight I'm going to bring it back in over but I don't have a good square for it just yet so maybe just rock across knight up or at some point I'm going to have to push this way oh he's going for it he's really going for it let's just play a pawn up and maybe knight up then Look to come in over. <coughs> there goes the ruddy clocks blinking again all the time. Let's play a knight across and maybe up. There's a lot of server issues, a lot of server issues. Okay, so knight in I think makes sense here. Get tempo on the queen, hit the pawn. So there's pressure coming. Yeah, let's play e3. Of course, queen up is a potential move to hit the bishop, but it's not a serious risk. He can just go here. And then my queen is kind of stuck on the other side of the board. In fact, he plays that immediately. So bishop up, take, take, he pushes. Take, take, looks unpleasant. Let's play queen up. Now, can I get the rook across? Have I got time? This is obviously going to come. So it's whether I've got time. I think I can step up one and hit the bishop. If he takes and take the bishop and he takes here though, it could be fatal. Really fatal. So I'm going to give him an exchange here. But again, if he takes and I take, he can clearly just come flying in here. So it's not good to allow this. I think I'm kind of a bit stuck here now. Let's hit the bishop. No, he could take, he doesn't. Again, I'm going to allow him to take the rook and try and bring the bishop up. Now, knight across is a move here, but there's no serious threat. Oh, did I just miss a check there? Did I just have a check with a smothered mate threat? Hmm. I just missed a check, didn't I? Yeah, I've got nothing now. That's rather annoying. I better push there. Yeah, I'm just completely bogged down, aren't I? Let's check. So check, he's going to get me pinned. I'm just kind of making random moves here now. I've got no moves at all here. Oh, why did I do that? That's an absolute nonsense move. Absolute nonsense. Just give him that one. I put in a respectable effort, but game just completely messed up the end game. Just being outplayed, though, wasn't I by a stronger player? So you just say, well done. Yeah, so somebody's managed to beat Hikaru. 1973, good luck. Now, this player's actually playing very well. He's above me in the standings. You mustn't pre-move uh, there just in case he takes the knight. Now looking to just try and gain some space. Or oh, not maybe. Let's take. 
Well, let's get the bishop up. I might even trade the bishop for the knight there. And then try and play a move like e6. Okay, he allows it, so I'll play it. Again, let's just play a holding move and maybe knight back. Yeah, for some reason I keep getting myself into these bogged down positions. I need to look for some different openings, clearly. Let's play a pawn up on knight back, maybe, here. Oh, we're an hour in already. I missed the first five or six minutes, so I've been playing about an hour. That's gone really quick. Oh, there's the clocks going again. Hmm. It's happening every arena, every one of these arenas. It's happening. These the clocks when they blink like that, it means there's a, an issue with the server. That says my point. You can see excellent connection. Four bars. I've got the same. As long as my stream is still running live, then it's nothing to do with my internet, it's the servers at there, and it must be. So if I take, he discovers on the queen, but I think that's worth doing. Let's just um, go away. Let's go here. Just um, threaten to grab a pawn, rook across, just simple, straightforward development moves. And this time tomorrow I'll be getting ready for Arena Kings, hopefully my first appearance in this season's Arena Kings. Now I've got knight up to hit the queen, but I don't think I'm really gaining anything there. Let's just look to trade. It's 8pm UK time, but now I can go up, hit the queen. If he takes the rook, gain a queen, he takes the rook, so that's no good. So just take. He'll probably come in to guard that, he does. Okay, I'm going to actually go up and hit the bishop and pawn here. Then maybe bring the queen across, see if I can keep him a bit bogged down. Actually, potentially, if he defends it, I can take, take, and bishop takes with a fork. So he's got, he's got to be careful, and I'm actually up on the clock here. So he runs out the way, so I can grab a pawn. But then I'm conceding the open file, but I can grab a pawn here anyway, right? It's got to be right to take the pawn, and then just drop the bishop back, depending on where he goes. He comes down. What I don't want is to obviously concede something silly like this. That's just got to be a little bit careful. Take the pawn, hit the bishop. Oh, there it goes again. Hmm. Let's just take and try and get back. This is covered right now. He comes down. Oh, I can pin his rook actually, can't I? I've just noticed. Oh, yeah, I'm going to... See if I can get the rook off the board. Then I want to drop the bishop right the way back if I can. Okay, that's a good move. Very good. Okay, this is not what I wanted. Um, let's go here and hit the bishop. Pre-move in case he takes. I want the bishop on g7 if I can. Obviously, right now on the corner square, it's completely out of the game. He goes back. Right, so now I'll get the bishop back. So now knight up is a threat. It was a threat, it's not now. Um, let's hit the queen and then maybe knight back here. I'm going to play queen up and look to come in. Mm. Let's just offer the queen trade. Try not to blunder my knight somehow if he gets his queen in. I'm hitting a pawn as well as threatening a check here. He covers everything. He hits my queen. Let's just hit the bishop. Trade. Um, okay, I've got some time, but not a mountain of time. 
Let's hit the bishop. Okay, finally. Finally made the mistake. Excellent, very good. Wow, a 16 of 13, a thousand on 13 and a half out of 16. You always get shock results on these, like 22, 13, good luck. Okay, I'm gonna go G6 just for variety sake. This game played it once already. Again, just purely for the sake of variety for no other good reason. Mm, let's go E5, why not? Okay, let's take. Okay, so you allow a complete simplification. I think that doesn't seem too bad, so I'll do that. Let's get the knight on a better square than pawn up, maybe. Just pawn up and maybe bishop up. Do I want to try and sack? That's ambitious, isn't it? That's ambitious. Let's bring the knight in and hit the bishop. Okay, now let's push and maybe push. Actually, pawn up here is a potential threat, but he can just take a pawn immediately. I think I have to play that. So you can see what's coming here, not to worry. Let's sack a pawn and then try and push. Okay, now this is where I've got a choice. Do I sack everything? Bishop up takes, takes, queen down. Must be bad. Let's play pawn up. So he comes forward. Let's play a knight up. And let's play across here, target the pawn. Can I take there? Take, take, check. He can block with a bishop. But if I target this, I'm actually threatening this. But that's a mate in one threat, so he has to do something about that. <coughs> yeah, the clocks are blinking again. Not good. Oh, so I take, he comes up, and I'm not actually getting him pinned. Now I do have knight up. Take, up, bishop up, no. I... Take up, is he getting away with it? Take, king up, and I can't just come across. If I move the bishop, he's actually got rook across, queen down, I'll lose my rook. No, rook across, I take the knight, of course. Rook across, I don't take the knight. What am I doing? I just lose the, I just lose the game. Just blundered. I've just seen it, and I've blundered it. Horrendous. Oh, I can pin the queen, though. I can pin the queen. But he's still better off now, though. I've just blundered it. I should have played knight in. So he can block with the bishop now. He's got no issues at all now, has he? Hmm. Let's play bishop and up and trade, but yeah. I've lost the chance I had in this game now. Let's take. He goes with the knight, so I've got knight up, hit the pawn. I've got knight back, he just goes across. It's doing it again. It's so off putting when it's happening like this. Yeah, just well done. Let's drop back down, hit the knight. But I'm just kind of making random moves now, aren't I? Not, not brilliant. Let's take. Let's go forward, hit the pawn. Try and undermine the centre pawn. But I'm two pawns down, so against a stronger player, two pawns down. Should be a formality. Okay, let's play back and look for a check, but 
Actually, can I bring my king up here just to put it... Oh, what? Is that putting it into a mating net? Maybe it is all coming over. Maybe I'm putting my king into a mating net there. Um, yeah, just go forward. Win or bust. Terrific, well done. Wow, he's done fabulous there, hasn't he? This is where we'll get a bit of lag now, though. The pieces will go out of sync on the board. Yeah, look at that. Look at how slow it is. That's why I play on Lee Chess most of the time now. It's so slow and laggy. It's unfortunate. If they even did one pre-move at a time to stop the multi-pre-move system, it would help solve that problem a lot, but it's just so slow. Nothing I can do, but I put it up a respectable effort against a stronger player. That's all you can do. Okay, I'm going to take there and bishop up. 1772, good luck. Okay. I'm just going to take there and develop. Actually, no, that walks into this. So, again, I'm kind of misplaying this one a little bit as well, like I've misplayed everything else. Let's try and see if I can create something here. Yeah, it's pretty clear when you see streamers that players in the Americas get a much faster playing experience on chess.com much much faster it really does lag quite badly over here it's a shame it's a good community it's a nice community Hikaru's doing his view arenas like this it's nice to be part of them but that's why i've largely switched to lee chess it's just dramatically faster um i think i have to push a pawn there then maybe queen up and rook across again just simple straightforward stick to principles it's not getting me very far here, but it's how I prefer to play. Now, how do I want a pawn here? If I take, he takes, takes, takes. I think I have to go this way because he'll take the knight. Now I can't take back, but I think I'm actually all right here just to play rook across. He can't go with a queen because I check. So he's got to go. Oh, he's missed it. He's just missed the little tactic. He's getting two pieces for the queen. Oh, he just resigns. Okay, he didn't see it. Could have played on there. Two pieces for a queen. 1676, good luck. One thing I have done on chess.com, I've done lots and lots of puzzle rush. I must have done 15,000 or something, but... Yeah, I do lots and lots of just general tactics training as well. Ooh, I nearly moved there, didn't I? I was trying to highlight. That would have been an automatic loss. Yeah, I was just trying to highlight there and I did the wrong button. It's right button to highlight, left button to make your move. <coughs> Let's just hit the bishop. Okay, goes back. I'm going to push a pawn here again. A little bit unusual, but I want to try and open the position up. and very bogged down again. He pushes. I can actually take there, I think. Let's go with the knight and threaten to take. Again, if he takes, I'm covering this. I don't have to take with a pawn. He could play a, rook, a move like rook across and pin, of course. So I'll end up giving the giving the pawn back here. Well, he doesn't do it. 
Okay, I think I've got time then to move Queen up, right? Oh no, I don't. I've blundered a piece. He can just take now. Oh, what am I doing? I'm just losing my losing the plot, aren't I? I can take back. I've just lost two a piece for a piece. He just takes and he takes. I mean, how with it? How can I blunder something like that? Oh, he doesn't see it. Wow, I am seriously lucky there. Just take, um, hit the bishop. I want to put the knight back here if I can, but it's not risk of being lost completely now. So knight across and I can actually go here. Yeah, I like the look of that actually. Let's go this way and hit the bishop. Because I'm hitting the queen there, then I'm going to drop here. He'll play back and I'll find another square somewhere. And then I can eventually drop back. So let's go here and play queen up. Maybe I should have pushed the pawn there to release my bishop again. Might be worth sacking a pawn to get the bishop out. Now let's play rook across and try and trade a set of rooks. Oh, he comes forward. Very attacking. Have I got time to push here? I think I have, but I don't know if I have. I'm going to try and get the bishop up. I'm going to put the knight um, back on here to cover this square. And look for a move like bishop up. <coughs> Whilst my opponent is looking for moves like checkmate. So this is a serious threat. If I push up... Oh, there the clocks go again. How many times has it done this? Hmm... I do not see a defence actually, I think I'm just playing lost. Pawn up. I think I have to play this, this is dreadful. If he takes I'm going to take back and hope I'm not checkmated with king up but... He pushes... Oh I can't push because of the pin. Um, let's go here and maybe push. He's got a check. I can maybe drop back, otherwise obviously I'm worried about this. Hmm. Really not playing well. I'm doing okay, but not playing well. Now, if I push here, that's what I've been trying to play. I'm going to play it. It's what I've been trying to play for ages. Then maybe bishop up and try and get bishop back. Just keep it really, really simple. If he checks with a bishop, I have to go here, otherwise he's going to take. So if bishop takes, pawn takes, the knight covers his queen coming in. So I'll pre-move that. Okay, now I'm going to get the rook off the board and bring the other one across. The more I can simplify it, the less risk there is against my king. And then I'm well up on the clock. So I've got to try and make my opponent think on his time rather than my time. He grabs a pawn but I'm not concerned about that. Let's just drop down, hit there. If he takes a pawn, fair enough, I'll take his pawn. Pre-move in case he captures my piece. He comes forward. So knight up's a move. I guess pawn up to hit the bishop there. Again pre-move, he doesn't do it. But now I think I'm starting to unwind. Okay, just to be absolutely safe, cover the mate threat. Then bring the knight somewhere or other. Um, but where? Hold on, can I play queen up here? I th I'm, I'm looking at a move like this because he's so low on time. Um, Let's just play there. Again, let's just come back. I've got to just play the clock here, of course. What a great game he's played, though. But yeah, he's out of time. What a great game he played. Everybody's playing really well. The score's not updating. Right, 1954, good luck. 
Okay, stick to principles. Traditional rutty. Now against e6 you normally go g3 and against c6 you go b3 as a general guide. Right, let's try and gain some space. Just take there, again keep it simple. Now I should be able to get a relatively standard position. If he hits the bishop just trade. I think rook across, rook across. Now what? Is it time to push? Takes, takes. Don't think it is. I'm going to try and push this side. Right, I didn't play this in a game earlier on, so this time I'm going to. Now that's the downside. It does weaken the side, of course. My opponent might even play this at some point. Oh, I can actually take that, mix the structure up. Now we go back and we hit the pawn. Now two pieces attack it and only one piece defends it. So he defends it. So queen up is a move. A sack is very interesting there. Then queen up, hit two pawns. This pawn is very loose as well. There goes them ruddy lights again. I'm threatening just to take the pawn though here. I don't see how he defends it, which is why I've played like this. Then just try and take and just simply drop back. Just simply try and grab a pawn. But I've got a big weakness here. Okay, I've got to take. Take with the queen if he takes so that I'm still hitting the queen. Actually, I shouldn't pre-move just in case he takes the queen first. You'd be annoyed if he did, but now I'm going to take here. And I guess, should I take, should I push? I can't ignore it. I think I have to take. Now hit the bishop. Knight up is coming, queen takes is coming. I think I'm doing well, but games are never over at amateur level until they're actually over. Right, he's dropped the bishop back, so I don't see any reason not to take the pawn. I need my sound up a little bit more. I'm struggling to hear the moves on the board sometimes. Okay, now I can grab yet another pawn. Well, what's wrong with rook up though? Um, the knight's covered. Let's play rook up. He might not see that the knight's covered. I'll pre-move just in case. But he has to guard his bishop. He does. But now I've got knight across or knight up. Yeah, if he plays rook takes, I actually take the rook. He goes bishop takes. So I trade, and then I look for f4. Now I'll try and get tempo hitting his pawn there. Now I'll try and collect a pawn somewhere or other. Um, make sure I don't allow him in. Right, I've stopped his king coming. I'm threatening checkmate here. Either move is currently checkmate, his king is boxed. And let's have some water. Right, managed to win another one. <coughs> right, Akara's top now, somebody's held him to a draw as well, so whoever that is, well done. But, see, there was a 2900 player in it earlier, so you do get very, very seriously strong players in this. So I'm going to switch to a Sicilian. Karakans have not been going too brilliantly, so let's just mix it up a little bit. I think knight up is playable, but if he pushes I can't go forward. I think I played d6 here. Just give the knight a square. Okay, so this is going to get seriously crazy. I think e5 is a move, but I don't remember the precise theory here, but I think e5 is the move. I know the pawn hangs. Takes, takes, queen takes. I don't remember it. Let's take. Let's drop back. I'm going to sack a pawn, see if I can open the file. Okay, let's push. Again, I'm not trying to actually keep that pawn. I'm actually deliberately trying to open the file up here. 
So take. Oops, I've allowed this. No, I might as well grab a pawn. Now, queen check, he just simply goes back. That's no good. Pawn takes, check, across, takes, back. I'm getting checkmated. I think I have to take and step up here, but I'm bound to be getting checkmated here. Yeah, I just didn't take my time and calculate the dice, so this is bound to lead to a mate. What do you mean? He's threatening all sorts, isn't he? All done. Can I go here, there? He can take and I can drop back. He can check. Oh, if I drop back, the check is covered. Yeah, he's just gone technical now, hasn't he? So I have to be lost here, don't I? Have to be. I'll pre-move in case he takes, he does. Well, let's check there. Um. Let's go forward and block. Okay. Let's play queen up again. I'm still going to have to block and then hopefully knight takes. I don't see how I get to his king though, I think he's very very solid now isn't he, very solid. Rook across. Let's play a rook across. He plays rook over hitting the pawn. I'm going to just have to sack that pawn. It's in the way. It's not doing anything. Let's play rook up and hit the pawn. I can just tell that I'm kind of not really quite sharp now. and I'm, I can just feel there's something going to go horribly wrong here. I can just sense it. Um, well, I have to guard the pawn, don't I? I have to do that. He plays rook across, logical of course. So I have to drop back. Oh, I'm a minute down on the clock as well. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing here, is there? No, I'm just kind of going through the motions here. I'm not really playing this game very well now. Let's just play queen up. I mean, I'm just lost. Just get on with the next one. Just too slow, wasn't I? I'm not playing sharp enough to tackle the stronger players in this now. We've got 16 out of 20 for a 1,000. 15 out of 16 for a 1,200. I right, 20, 59. Good luck. Okay, let's go d4. There's 26 minutes left. Okay, let's just take the... Um, how do I feel like playing it? I could get ambitious here. Let's go h4. Try and provoke h5. He allows h5. He allows pawn up. Let's bishop up. And maybe c3, I think. Again, it's going to get ultra sharp, this, because he can obviously push as well. But I'm threatening queen up with an idea of a check threat <coughs> but my own king is going to get blown out the water risking it though there it goes again more server issues it's so disconcerting when this happens he plays knight up so just stick to the plan hit the pawn but if he pushes I'm threatening check he has to come up, so he defends it. Knight takes, no good. Let's go g4 again. If he takes, I take the pawn. So that's a safe pre-move. If his pawn doesn't move, it can't happen. So that's a safe pre-move. 
his king might well be able to step out. It doesn't mean it's actually a mating threat, of course. So bishop check is no good. Let's just... Hold on, my knight has to move, it's being attacked. So I guess I have to play knight back, right? So which means I need the knight this way and I need to castle. So now he's trapping my bishop in. Very good, very logical. So I'm going to try and open this up. He still has to actually get to the bishop to win it, but he might well have done, of course. Give him my knight a square, threatening a... Ch um, <coughs> To chase this knight away. Okay. Knight up again, threatening to come here, allowing me to castle. He does go after the bishop now. To take or not to take? No, I don't think I can. Although, can I afford not to? I think I just have to simply take here. Let's castle. Just a couple of nice, calm, steady moves. But yeah, I should be completely lost here. I've been too ambitious. It hasn't worked. It's backfired horribly. Maybe pawn up his last throw of the dice. Oh, he's allowed a knight check. He's hung his rook as well. It's a free rook. It isn't a free rook or law. Have I got pawn up here? Oh, I can just take the queen. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm not playing well, am I? I'm playing kind of okay in patches, but I'm not playing well. To miss a simple tactic like that. 2055, good luck. How on earth I can lose a game like that? I haven't got a clue. Should never be losing games that badly. Let's just play knight up. Um, okay, let's just take and drop back, I think, there. He goes with a queen. Let's drop back anywhere. Yeah, it's a bit late in the day for me. This and Arena Kings only starts tomorrow when this event actually finishes. But it's just too late in the day for me most of the time. Okay, let's castle. I'm just kind of going through the motions now, making moves. I'm not really focused, really sharp. Bishop up and back, of course. Right, I've got to get the bishop back here. He's going to look for something like this. So, have to go back. If he takes, I'm going... Oh, I pre-moved there nearly. The queen's actually hanging. But I nearly... Oh, he's done it. He's hung his queen. I hung my... I nearly pre-moved and would have hung my own queen. Mm. So there's a check there, but he can block... So he can take, I have to take back, but I can drive his bishop back. I think that makes sense, and then take. Okay, let's check. He goes with the bishop. Okay, well now if he moves that bishop, he loses the rook, and rook up is a strong threat. Or is it? Is it? Is it? Knight takes doesn't quite work. Rook up and he goes here. A take, he takes. I don't actually like the look of that. Let's just play queen up and hope I'm not trapping my queen. Oh, my queen's got no squares, has it? It's only got one square. He hits my rook, but I don't care about that. Let's take, hit his rook. Pre-move in case he takes, because it's a check. Again, hit the rook and... Hit the rookie blocks. Let's take. I say I'm very happy for him to take that. It gets rid of one of his pieces. Check is coming. Checks are coming somehow or other. I'm hitting the rook as well. Oh, that's the rook there. That should be good enough now, surely. He's got one threat here. I have seen it. Okay, let's just eliminate that threat. Very good. 20 minutes left. Right, 1896, good luck. Only new to the tournament, you can see there. Oh, what?
what is this? What gambit is this? Hmm, I'm not playing a far, far stronger player who's playing a weird gambit. Now let's play pawn up and maybe knight takes. Maybe pawn up. Um, I think queen up there. He plays in. I think bishop up is a pretty decent move here, but I don't know. No, I'm just going to trade the queen first, actually. Then hit the knight. I can drop this bishop back. If he takes, I can take back. Ooh, can I actually? I have to drop the bishop back immediately there, or it's going to get trapped. He's threatening g4. Right, now I can pretty much take if I want to. I can take here. Knight up is... Not really a great move, I don't think. Knight up is a move. I'm just going to castle. Okay, so now I need to take. But do I go forward or backwards? Knight up takes, takes. I think I need to go backwards. I think I need to then play a move like f6. So I'm going to play that immediately. I'm threatening to win a pawn. If he takes, I can undouble my pawns. So undouble the pawns, and now I'm threatening to push here. I just need to unwind a little bit. But no point pushing this, because he could still push here. But now if he takes, I'm going with the knight to keep these pawns together. So I'll pre-move that. Ah, actually, I don't have to, do I? No, this is still guarded, so I could take. I can push. I can just win a pawn. I think I just take and hit the knight there. Now if he takes, he's threatening to come in, so I can't just ignore that. So I think I go with the knight, release the rook. He takes. I thought I could take here, but he takes here. And that's very unpleasant. Let's push the pawn. I'm just kind of going through the motions, so I can, I can just feel I'm... Not focused, not sharp. Hold on. If I take here and he takes, I go up. He's got one square. Hold on. Does he have knight check afterwards? He does. Let's hit the bishop first, guard the pawn, and then hit the pawn. Right, now I'm going to hit the rook. Knight check is playable, I think I can just play king to g7. <coughs> so step across. Now, a move like knight across should force the knight off, right? Knight across, takes, 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 rook check, king back. Still don't like the look of that. Rook across, he's got a knight check. That's no good. I know this is not good, but I think I have to play it. I don't see anything at all better. But he's going to get a check and win a pawn at the end. But I think it's the best line that I can see. But yeah, my sharpness is gone. So check, and I'm going to go forward. He goes that way. I thought he was just going to look to check on this file, you see. Okay, there's no rook across, so I have to push there, I think. But again, it's, the check is actually covered. Now I can check and go forward. I should be winning now. Hit two pawns. He plays rook across. So I'll hit the bishop. Now take and cover this pawn. There are still threats here though. It's not a complete formality. It should be close to a formality. I'm going to try and run up. Now he's got no immediate check now. Yeah, that's a good win. Excellent. A 1217 out of 18. You always get these really shock results in these. 
Wow, 39 points for a 1300. Okay, is it really a 1300? We're going to find out. I'll know very quickly from the quality of his player what sort of level he's at. Well oh, done. In this line, all you have to do is watch out for this checkmate threat. So if he plays queen up, you play e6. Otherwise, knight up is a move here. Look to trade the knights. Now I'm going to bring the bishop this way. Okay, just castle. Check is a potential move, but I'm not sure how good. I'm going to maybe try and bring the pawn in over here, but again, is it a bad idea? I think it is actually. I want to put the pawn here and use it as a blockader, I think. If he pushes as a potential pawn, he goes really solid. I'm going to try and get my bishop out early this time. Try and trade it off. I got bogged down a few times earlier on, didn't I, with my bishop behind the wall. So I'm just going to try and trade that bishop. I mustn't forget the rook, though. He can easily attack it. Mm. Okay, let's trade that bishop as well and just make sure he doesn't hit the rook and forget about it. Like rook back to guard the pawn. And now e6, of course, is very sensible here. If he pushes, he hits this. I've seen, but it is covered, so I can take. Queen up trades queens, but I don't really mind that. Let's bring the rook in. Oh, just go ultra solid. Now, pawn up is not a great move, I don't think, there. Let's play queen across and maybe rook across. Again, he's playing seriously good stuff for a 1300. You can see why he's got 30 points. Okay. Pawn up takes, takes. He's definitely going to be able to push, but I don't think that's too bad necessarily. Let's make sure the rooks are guarded, though. Very hard to create any chances here, though. Well, he offers a queen trade. I'll do that. Now I can definitely push, and he can't take because he hangs the rook. Okay, so if I take, rook takes, we trade, he gets a pawn there. So king up, king across, king up, king down, king up should be all right for me. Doesn't mean it will be, but it should be. Now the problem is he's got this move. That's the problem. I'm going to play here if he plays that. In fact, I think I'll probably play here next. Try and force him into committing here. Yeah, he's played it immediately, so I have to play this. If he pushes, ah, I'm then in time to collect. Right, so I've got initial control over his king. So I need one, two, three moves to collect, and he has to defend that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's no way you can get down there and promote in time. So I want him to go back here to be pegged down. Collect. And now I can effectively just run my pawns and that should be good enough. Again, guard his king just so he can't blast through here. Um, pawn up should be good enough here, I think. Ooh, I might have blundered there. Takes, takes, up, but... We both get past pawns. I think I'm actually in time. Right, I'm going to try and time down this side. And then work my king over this way. Again, just stop his king from easily breaking through. I can create an outside pawn now. So it should be a routine win now. Yeah, just create the outside pawn. He has to guard it. And I just come the other side and collect his pawns. Again, if he pushes here, I could go there, but now I just come across. Now I just guard his king, just promote the pawn. And just don't let him in. Excellent, very good. Ten minutes left, so time for one more, possibly two more games. 
1740, good luck. Again, 32 points, doing extremely well. Actually, let's go B3 this time. This is what Ikaru normally plays, not what I normally play. But I do often transpose into this line, just not with this move order. Let's go D4. Oh, done. E3 makes sense here. And we're going to try and push. He plays forward. The problem if I push now is he can go here. Um, yeah, I've not done this very well either, have I? I think I can actually still go here, but I can't go there. I have to come back. Or I can play rook across. I'll maybe queen up and trade the bishop. No, queen across is no good. He can take... I don't want to take back. I'm going to make sure the bishop's guarded. Drop it back if he doesn't take. Hmm. Right, grab the pawn back. So we're hitting the knight now. He needs to just see that he does. Let's go with the knight. Otherwise he had an annoying bishop down there. So he hits my rook. Okay, let's just trade the queen then. But yeah, everybody's been playing really well. What's that OBS disconnecting, reconnecting? My stream is still running, right? Yeah, my stream seems to be still running. Yeah, OBS has reconnected. Knight in. Okay, let's just hit the bishop. Really, really difficult to create anything here. I'm going to play this, I think, to stop him coming here. Ooh. Can I deflect that knight and then discover? I don't see how right now. No, I don't think I can. I'm just slow and steady again. Maybe bishop here to restrict his knight even more. Okay, that allows me a bit of a tempo to hit the rook. I can always push a pawn here, I think. Well, he comes in over. I didn't expect that. If I go back, he comes down. That's not that appealing. I'm going to go forward and hit the bishop there, I think. He's played rook across, so I can take the bishop here and then discover on the rook, I think. I think I'm threatening knight over. It covers him going back, and I hit the knight. A back rank, and I can block with the bishop. I'll go here, I think. Yeah, but on chess.com, if you're actually playing a game when the time runs out, oh, there it goes again, the clock again. Then the game just aborts as though it never existed. So there might be time for one more game after this, but that really should be the last one. Yeah, he just resigned, so another good win. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Oh, 16 out of 24, that's not bad, considering I'm not playing too well. And I've had a good number of very high-rated players in this at my level. And there's another one to finish, 2186, good luck. So I'll probably make this my final game now. There's no point starting another game after this. We've got right on the six minutes um, game time here left in the arena. So I'll just stop after this, whatever happens, I think. So let's just trade the knight and go g3. Mm, actually, let's take the... I think we played earlier on. I might be wrong. I think we did. Um, let's just play a knight up. Okay, let's just play a knight back. Right, let's give the knight a square this square, this side as well. Now, if he plays knight in, I'm probably going to take because he doesn't have a light squared bishop to exploit this or a knight. 
if that knight comes off. So I think it's relatively safe to take. And if he takes the rook, I'm going to bring the knight this way. He doesn't. Um... I think I need to challenge that pawn there. But yeah, if he takes, I'm going to go with the knight and then try and bring it in over somewhere or other. Queen up looks interesting, but probably bad. Well, it looks interesting. Double pawns, but he's got a backward pawn. Of course, now I'll take with the rook. Excuse me. So, rook across to hit this pawn. Rook across, if he goes over, I can just simply take and grab the pawn. Right, knight over threatens to take the pawn. Knight in, I'm just going to take. Hmm. Okay, let's go back and try and put the rook in my opponent's camp here. Oh, he just pushes immediately. I'm not sure what knight across actually does here, if anything. I probably need to try and break this open, don't I? Probably need to try and push. Okay, let's just hit the bishop. And maybe rook. Oh, he goes back and hits the rook. I guess I have to drop back there. I've allowed him to unwind now quite... Oh, why did I put the rook there? Although, if I go across, if he takes, I take with a check. Mm, actually, let's go here again. If he takes, I actually take with a check, which is very fortunate. Right, so now I have to take, right? King up next move should he pin on the back rank. Well, let's play knight across. He takes. So which one do I go with? I think with the pawn. Again, the clocks are blinking again. There's another server issue. Happened all the way through the event. Very disconcerting. Okay, let's trade pawns. Okay, I'll offer him a draw here. He might not want it, but I'll offer a draw. Let's just play a rook up. Mm, where to go? Let's just go here. Just have to be aware that he's threatening check there, of course. Yeah, he's probably going to flag me. He's, he should be good enough to flag me, but... Otherwise, it's in principle a draw, of course, but he should be good enough to flag me on the clock. Now I'm threatening to grab a pawn, depending on what he does. He allows it, hit the rook. Oh, he blundered it. Oh, he's got a dangerous pawn here though, hasn't he? He's going to try and flag me. Yeah, 
He has flagged me, hasn't he? Oh, arena over. Arena over. He, he had a draw there if he wanted it. Not to worry, arena is over. So that game just aborts, it doesn't count. So in the end it's not gone too badly. Didn't feel like I've played brilliantly, but my rating has gone up a little bit at 20 odd points. But I don't know if you can see because of my cameras, but all this where it says you've successfully reconnected, I've not been disconnecting. It's a server issue, but look at all that, that's ridiculous, isn't it? If I bring OBS up and switch to my switch the cameras to the other side, you can see on the side it says you've successfully reconnected. That's server issues at chess.com, then it's nothing to do with my internet. But that's what happens when them clocks blink. It's absolutely dreadful. That to happen that many times is terrible. Hmm. Not good, not good. But in the end I finished 27, 16 out of 24. And I had some losses against some very strong players there, so not bad at all, not bad at all. You always get some odd results like this, very, very low rated players up there. As long as it's all legit and above board, then of course well done to everybody. So thank you very much and I'll be back again tomorrow.